might recall learning rules of logarithms. They will make our lives so much easier when we're trying to differentiate certain functions. So let's just refresh our memory. The natural log of xy, a product, we can break it up into a sum. Think about why that might be useful to us right now. Product rule is a pain, right? So if we can change a product to a sum, we can avoid having to use the product rule. The natural log of a quotient, we can break up into subtraction. So I can change a quotient rule problem into one where I just take the derivative of each term. This could be very useful to us. Natural log of x to a power. We can bring the power out front. We saw an example like that yesterday where I said, hey, let's go ahead and bring that power out front so that we don't have to use the power rule or the general power rule. Okay, so let's take a look at where we're going to apply these. These are, all right, but what I want to do right now is find the derivative of y equals x times the square root of x squared plus 1, but I'm going to use a trick called logarithmic differentiation. Logarithmic differentiation only works when you have, you're only working with positive numbers. So for example here, notice that this function has a restricted domain. We're only plugging in x values greater than zero. So if you multiply a positive x times the square root of x squared plus one, you're gonna get positive answers, right? The reason that's important is because you can only take the log of a positive. So this little trick will only work when you have positive functions. <clears throat> and the trick that I'm referring to is, is we take the natural log of both sides, both sides, whatever you do to one side, you still have to do to the other. We take the natural log of both sides before we differentiate. So watch what happens. This would have been a very complicated function. We would have had a product rule, a power rule, chain rule, right, going on in there. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the natural log of y equals, I'm going to use my rules of logarithms to break this up. This is going to be the natural log of x plus the natural log of the square root of x squared plus 1. Or an even better way of writing that would be with a power, right? x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power. Now I can change that power to a coefficient. So this is going to be 1 half the natural log of x squared plus 1. And then use implicit differentiation to take the derivative on both sides. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to take, I'm going to copy down my whole function, natural log of y, and I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. I want to find dy dx, so I'm going to differentiate with respect to x, d dx of natural log of y, d dx of all of this stuff. Now before we proceed any further, obviously we need to remember the rule. How do you take the derivative of the natural log of x? What does that come out to be? 1 over x. Okay, so What's the derivative of natural log of y going to be then? 1 over y, but since that's not an x, times dy dx. Okay, what's the derivative of the natural log of x? 1 over x. What's the derivative of 1 half natural log of x squared plus 1? <laughs> Skip it. Okay, what's it going to be? The 1 half stays the same times 1 over what? x squared plus 1, right? We just apply this rule, but since that wasn't an x, times the derivative of x squared plus 1. It's the chain rule. So we have 1 over y times dy dx equals 1 over x plus 1 half times 1 over x squared plus 1, oops, times what? 2x, good. The 2's are going to cancel. Derivative of x squared plus 1. Multiply both sides by y now to get dy dx by itself. And so we're going to have dy dx equals y times 1 over x plus x over x squared plus 1. Now, since our original function was, was written ex <coughs> as in explicit form, it was written in explicit form, we can replace the y with what it's equal to, and we should do that. So dy dx is equal to, I'm going to write x square root of x squared plus 1 times 1 over x 
plus x over x squared plus 1. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.